The synchro check function of eight series is intended for supervising the parallel of two parts of a system which are to be joined by the closure of a circuit breaker. For example, 850 relay in the main time main bus transfer close before open scheme. If this feature is enabled, then the check will be performed before either manual close or automatic reclose signal can be operate the close output relay. By default, three VTs are used for bus voltage input and auxiliary VX is used for the line voltage input. Depends on the order code, both line and bus sides VT can be three-phase VT. Then the VT types must match. Under the voltage sensing, either both line and bus VT input should be set into Y or both set into delta. If both sides are single phase auxiliary VT input, then both auxiliary VT connection type must match. For example, if the line VT auxiliary VT type is VAB, then the bus side auxiliary VT should also be VAB. Synchro check verifies that the voltage of the bus and the line on the two sides of the supervised circuit breaker are within the set limit of magnitude, angle, and frequency difference. The time during which the two voltage remains within the admissible angle difference is determined by the setting of the phase angle difference delta phi and the frequency difference slip frequency delta f. When delta phi is 30 degree and delta f is 0 0.1 hertz, then the calculated time will be 1.66 seconds. As a result, the breaker closure time must be less than this computed time to successfully close and connect both energized sides. For the hysteresis setting, once the synchro check element has operated, the frequency difference must increase above this sync max frequency difference plus the sync max frequency hysteresis sum in order to drop out the relay. The synchro check programming can allow permitted closure if either or both of the sources are de-energized. Dead source permission provides the combination of dead and live sources that bypass the synchronism check and permits the breaker to be closed when one or both of the two voltages are below the maximum voltage threshold. There are six options. Disabled, that's dead source permission is disabled. Live bus and dead line, dead bus and live line, dead bus and dead line, dead bus or dead line, dead bus exclusive dead line, which means one source is dead, another one is live. For these logic conditions, the live and 
that voltage level must be defined. Live bus and line minimum voltage that defines the voltage source is live or energized. Dead bus line maximum voltage defines the maximum voltage magnitude below which the voltage source is dead or de-energized. Once permit is set and all conditions are met, then sync dead source or key operand will be sent to the transfer scheme. If magnitude, phase, and frequency differences are all below the settings, then SYNC1 close permit operand will be asserted. <laughs>